Listen, I just want to say this to you. We never rejoice when words that God give you come to pass that sometime um, are not good words. It's amazing how one of the complaints that people make about the prophetic Listen, I just want to say this to you. We never rejoice when words that God give you come to pass that sometime um, are not good words. It's amazing how one of the complaints that people make about the prophetic Why do you retweet when a prophecy comes to pass? Or why do you post it? Well, because I have to right now, uh, more than ever, because I've been accused of listening to psychics. I've been accused of getting information from psychics, not just by the world, but by Christians, not just by Christians, but by pastors. Not just by pastors, but by people who own television stations and are pastors of churches. Who you gonna call? So I just want to say this. That's the only reason I say what I say or retweet or make the post that I make. It costs to be anointed. It costs to operate in the prophetic. If you don't prophesy, they say to you, you should have saw it. If you do prophesy, they say, why you prophesy bad stuff? So you're in a lose-lose situation with people because people never see the good. But I praise God that I'll stand before God one day Bless your prophet Ferguson and Bishop Trailer. I'll stand before God one day and hear him say, Well done, thy good and faithful servants. So, you haters. You people who persecute me. The Lord said it on Monday. It came to pass on Wednesday. You that persecute me. What's your excuse now? My message on Monday was telling folk to obey God. What's your, what's your persecution now? The word of the Lord came and said, not long from now, we will see it. All. Two days later, it happened. Did the psychic tell me that? Did I go look that up from somewhere? Of course not. But Jesus was the author and the finish of our faith who reveals everything, let us know. I love y'all. I'm praying for you. I'm in California getting ready to do a program with Pastor Benny. For all of you who thought Pastor Benny didn't love me no more, thought he cut me off, I'm here with him today. I just thought I'd let you know that too. His gaze pierces cloud, shadow, earth, and flesh. You know of what I speak, Gandalf. A great eye, lidless, wreathed in flame. I'm sorry.